a couple of them taking issue with you directly, Keith. So I hope oh, you get I... your, your flak jacket on. Um, Lewis Cafferty, Keith continually tipping McInnes is such a boring suggestion. Surely Hearts need to put a bit more of time and imagination into finding Naismith's replacement. Look, McElroy, don't go down the lazy route and appoint McInnes. Aberdeen did their homework, thought outside the box, and Thielen looks the real deal. And Lawrence Neal, Hearts need to look at an outsider. We need a coach with international experience, and you can't find that in the Scottish Premiership. And just, I think, for a bit of a wind-up, Stephen Leonard, Hearts have no chance. McInnes is waiting for Clermont to get the sack. Well, that, that, that's only half a joke, by the way. <laughs> but, <laughs> There's two things I would say in all of that, that uh, Daniel. Um, Go on. The Aberdeen, the, the, now, uh, whether this is directly true, or I'm, I'm not sure. It, it was relayed to me a couple of days ago, but I'm pretty sure that was that was the case that Hearts had made reference when they appointed Stephen Naismith about the success of Barry Robson um, from stepping up from the background and how it can be done and, and things like that. And things that didn't go well in the end for Barry. Um, the same as what they have with Stephen. Looking at the Aberdeen thing, I am like everyone, like delighted to see Aberdeen absolutely flying, but I keep coming back to the fact that the real test will be in a couple of months' time. This, this, isn't, this isn't guaranteed to have worked yet. I know this mm. is going to I'll probably have Aberdeen people going mental and say this, but, it, you know, 11 wins, it's fantastic, but it's not, it's not proven to have worked yet. Mm-hmm. It's been a brilliant start, but it's not proven to have worked yet. Yeah. So, and, you know, but you're using that as a template straight away. Well, Aberdeen are doing it, so that's great. It must work. But there's been a fair share of, you know, hearts of HUD guys coming in from abroad, Daniel Stendhal and guys like that didn't work. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it needs to be the right can can it just automatically be, oh, let's just go for him because Aberdeen are having success with that or think outside the box. They need to be really, really spot on with what they with what they come up with. Rather well, than just say, well, this seems to be the trend the way ahead, let's go. We don't know if Jimmy Telling's gonna have his next nine games and win one of them. I mean, Nazy had a brilliant run last year at Hearts, didn't he? A fabulous mm-hmm. run of results. So you can have runs. I, I, Tony, I, I, what I'd say on this, you know, the, the, this lazy reference and all that. Look, I get it. I get that there's Tony Bloom's laptop is available, and that's exciting people. Of course it is, because Brighton have have made such an art form of sourcing the right people, be it in the, uh, in, in the dugout or in the, the dressing room. It's it's terrific. If that technology is available, absolutely, you need to take a look at it and, and take a look at what it's coming out with. But at the same time. Where this is different right now is that Derek McInnes is without question. I mean, there is a, you talk about trying to minimise the risk of a managerial appointment, right? Derek McInnes is, is an outlier in terms of where else would you find a guy who has consistently punched above his weight over such an extended period of nearly two decades? He knows the thing inside out. You, you, I mean, that is he is absolutely minimising the risk. That's exactly what that point is. And also, it's not just that. It's, here's a guy that's actually taken the battle to the old firm at various points in this. So while I totally accept that, that people will be looking for something new and something fresh and something that, you know, the data is pointing towards, yeah, I get it. Um, but let's, my point is, you know, as I wrote the other day, I get it and I absolutely understand the excitement levels and the wish to try something new but you don't sacrifice and and you know ignore the obvious answer that's staring you right back in the face just because he happens to be Scottish. If anything, surely that should be a massive tick in the box that this guy over and over and over again has produced. 